Welcome to howtocookthat.net. Today we're looking at how to make spun sugar decorations to go on top of desserts. This is what I do. I take a pan, put it on the stove top, turn it onto high, add some sugar to the pan. I don't actually measure it. It's not one of those recipes that you need to be exact with. It depends how big uh, your decoration needs to be. Next you add a bit of glucose syrup. Not too much. The reason you need that is it helps stop the sugar from crystallising. If you do it without the glucose syrup, you can, but sometimes it goes grainy and doesn't give you that nice, crisp, clear finish. And then you just need to add a little bit of water, just enough to wet the sugar really. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit less or a little bit more. If you've got a bit more, it'll just take longer for it to boil down. Then you need to bring that to the boil and continue to stir it until the sugar is dissolved. Then you take a pastry brush and some water in a cup and generously brush down any sugar that's on the edges of the pan. You need to do this otherwise the thin bits of sugar that are splashed to the side tend to burn. Don't stir it from now, you just leave it on the stove top to continue to boil and bubble. Now you can see that it's starting to get thicker and you'll be able to hear that the bubbles are popping more slowly. The sugar syrup is very, very hot, so make sure you don't get your hands near it. Now it's just starting to go golden, and that's when you take it off the stove straight away. So you see one patch of it starting to go golden. Give it a stir to evenly distribute the little bit of colour you've got there. Then get a spoonful, and you can drizzle it onto baking paper um, to make a pattern that you can then just snap bits off and put it on top of your dessert. If you want it thinner, if you want that spiderweb type... Um, design in your decorations just get two forks back to back and just pull away from each other you need to let the sugar syrup uh, set a little bit to do this if you do it when it's straight off the stove top it won't pull just let it cool down just a little bit and then start doing that if it cools down too much and it's too thick just pop it back on the stove top for a minute and heat it up a little bit again and you'll be right to go and then just pop them on some baking paper and when you're ready you can put them on your dessert. I like to put them in an airtight container until I need them and then get them out and put them on the dessert just before serving. That can add a bit of height to your dessert and make it look good.